Mihoyo should hire you. Perfect. Oilverse really needs to hire you. Oyo should hire this, this guy. This is amazing. It Someone hire like this guy. Oyo should make it. Oyo should I was sniffing crystal meth, so I was distracted from the ending. Play it again. Oh, okay, buddy. Yeah, sure. Here you go. Join those who shall feast. Hey, you. Finally awake. I used this in my English project and everyone was embarrassed by your video. I can't, I can't tell if this is an insult or not, but I think he's trying to be nice. So thanks, I guess. GG. <laughs> GG. GG, mate. Yeah, I completed it. Hi, Jake. Please collab with Atsumo. I will, uh, I'll get right on that, but my name's not Jake, so... Uh, I don't know. Is it, are you lost? Can you include Shen He in next trailer? Angel face. No, probably not. I do like Shen He though. This is so amazing. I could make out with you right now with consent, of course. But my eyes have been blessed. My wife would have things to say about that. So unfortunately, I'm going to, have to turn you down. Paimon. What's your nationality? Do you remember the last episode of Fate Stay Night UBW? The one where Shiro and Rin go into that clock tower place? Or did you know they actually turned that into a real country because Fate became so popular after FGO was released? That's where I live. Oh fucking shit, that was amazing. I don't even have words, oh my god. What the heck, the quality of this trailer is phenomenal. <laughs> Holy shit. <sighs> This was crazy. Okay, I'm not going to read the rest of this, but um, yeah. So there are like, there are several types of commenter that I've noticed I get on my videos. This is case in point of the person who's so emotionally overcome by what they've witnessed that they, they sort of unleash their emotions onto the keyboard. That's great. I mean, as an editor, what I'm looking to do is affect people's emotions through narrative storytelling and sound design and all that stuff. So this is mission accomplished for me. I love comments like these, so thanks a lot. Felt like Overwatch trailer. Now this is funny because I was really into Overwatch between 2016 and 2019, I'd say. Blizzard games have been a huge influence on me. I remember watching the original cinematic trailer for Overwatch and just the, the theme, the music, as soon as it started playing, I just was was super interested. I downloaded the beta straight away. I mean, I got to, I almost got to Grandmaster. I was one game off getting to Grandmaster and then uh, I had someone throw the game and that was the highest I ever got. Sad. What are your hopes for the game story? Seeing as a lot of your trailers revolve around it, is there anything you would love to see? My, my dream scenario is just a one hour movie they make about what happened in Kenria. The mysteries of the world are the most interesting things of, of Genshin Impact for me. Uh, the individual Archon quests are great because they drip, they're basically every single Archon quest that we do, every new region we go to has its own self-contained story. It's all building up towards solving those mysteries of, of the main plot of, of Genshin Impact, which is around Celestia, Visions, Archons, and uh, the Traveler duo. Where am I going with this? I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm basically just holding out for, for the Kenria chapter. Next question. This was really good. You should make a Japanese audio one. I get a lot of comments like this. If you can convince me that it, spending 40 hours to do this would be worth it, then I'll do it. This is so epic, but I expected Kaya to be in, in it as well. Sad face. So I got a few comments about Kaya. Originally, I did have plans to include him in it. I had plans to include basically everything to do with the Kenria and Cataclysm in this video, but if you include too many characters and too many plot threads, it sort of dilutes the central narrative and it becomes hard to follow. So I really wanted to distill it down to the most essential things, which are the Archons in Kenria, something happened, Kenria got destroyed, our sibling was there, Dane was there, and now the Abyss Order is taking revenge, or something's happening with the Abyss Order now, and there's the Loom of Fate. You know, so this, this, the central narrative is easy to follow because it's just, it, it sticks to the Abyss sibling, basically. She, Lumina is the one that holds this video together. So if I included, <laughs> if I included uh, Kaya and Ruka Devata and all these other plot threads, yeah, it would get too complicated. 
My favorite thing about these trailers is the scene where the same action is being done in two places, but it's perfectly edited and fast paced edits with good soundtrack. So what he's saying here is he likes the match cuts. Yeah, I mean, those are my favorite sequences that I edited. This, it's so satisfying when you when you go through 12 hours of footage, and you find that two seconds where you can do the perfect match cut. And um, it's really, it's about patience and time. But yeah, I definitely want to continue doing great match cuts. I think they have a very strong place in my trailers and my style. What do I like about Genshin? Mona. Your fave character? Mona. Your fave quest? Mona. Your main? Mona. No, I'm just kidding. Your fave character? My wife says I have a very strong soft spot for the cryo characters for some reason. I don't know why. Dane's Leaf is probably my favorite character. You know the, the meme where like the gamer sits up in his chair when it's like serious mode? That's me when Dane's Leaf appears because you know something awesome is about to happen or something epic or something important is about to happen. Roughly how long did it take you to make everything from planning the video, choosing the clip, song, etc.? In terms of hours, 200 hours, maybe? I'm not sure. I should keep, I'm gonna keep track of the next time I make one of these videos, which will hopefully be soon. A lot of people noticed that Nihida or Rika Devada was in this shot, and I know, you're right, she wasn't a Kenria, but I knew that, and I put her in anyway, because A, it's a trailer, and I like my trailers to be a little bit misleading to people who watch them, who haven't played the story before, so that when they actually play the game, something different happens to what they were expecting. Also B, because it looks cool. <laughs> it just makes for a better shot if I had her in it, so I put her there. Creative license. Why did you put Venti's scene mainly when Zhongli said, those who are born to remember will remember? It could have been any archons or just a coincidence, but the hints about Venti and the God of Time being related make it so fitting. Those who are born to remember will remember. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I just, I thought narratively it would make sense to put the archons there because I'm thinking about how they are remembering what they did or what happened in the Kenrian cat Cataclysm. Um, I know it looks cool, so... <laughs> yeah. The Hoyoverse logo shattering into the unknown god cubes was a great touch. The Alhatham glass showing the Archons was awesome too. I got a fair few comments from people about the visual effects, like the logo dissolving into cubes or the Archons in Alhatham's mirrors. I'm really happy people pointed these out and commented on them because they are probably the most challenging and longest things to create aside from creating 3D renders in Blender, of course, but shout out to all the people who noticed the Gnosis in the mirror appear before Paimon. I create these kind of things in After Effects and a lot of it is manually done, sometimes frame by frame. I also use After Effects to clean up shots where there's stuff in the way, like dialogue or continue buttons or whatnot. It's all very painstaking work, but it's worth it, even if it's only on screen for a second or two. Why bother? Because the little flourishes are everything. They are what transforms something from good to great. Even if you don't notice them, your brain does. This is amazingly well made. The arrangement of our perfect and the AAA class trailer quality. Now I don't know if this guy is talking about the music or the visuals, but I did actually do my own musical arrangement for the first minute and a half, two minutes of this most recent trailer. I'm fearful because of what I witnessed 500 years ago. I think it went pretty well for my first attempt at arranging music. So I'm Happy that someone might have noticed that. I'm curious on how your life is in Genshin. I'm talking about AR or progress you made. Sort of mostly explored the world. I have done no hangouts. I have <laughs> never done a single one. But this is the only quest I still have yet to do in the game. That isn't a hangout. Hutao Squad, uh, Morgania, Raiden National, Child International, Team I play when I want to be immersed in the story. Nilo, Hyper Bloom, which is probably my strongest team. I think at the moment, Yelan is my favorite character. Playing Genshin in the overworld without Yelan is just painful for me now because I like going fast. That's why I rolled for her C1. I just, I feel a need. I feel a need for speed. That pretty much covers most of the questions I got. Aside from giving a full workflow breakdown of how I create my, my, my trailers from start to finish, from the initial conception all the way to delivery. And I think that's such a long answer that it's going to be at least five, 10 minutes long. So that will be for another video that I will probably do at some point. Okay, well, if you're still watching this far into the video, then you're probably one of my biggest fans. So thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for being subscribed. And I'm hoping my content going forward will be a mix of story-based narrative 
videos like my trailers and uh, and other things to do with the Genshin story. But also I'm, I'm hoping to add in a mix of videos like this behind the scenes, maybe talking to other Genshin lore tubers, lore YouTubers, and maybe do some collabs, make, have some fun, comment on, on the story, theories, and uh, yeah, hope you guys like what's coming next and I'll see you next time.